South Platte, Louisiana. The culture is just, it's tremendous. Uh, it's a French speaking culture and all. It's a small Cajun town, man, you know. Ville Platte's not that big of a music scene unless you got an accordion and a fiddle in your hand. It's not a bad place to live if you like quiet. He ran in a movie called Rock and Roll High School, and he started wondering, is that, is that a real band? The Ramon? He formed The Fix in 93, in like late 93. He just comes up to me one day and hands me a guitar and says, here, play that. I didn't even know, I couldn't tell you what a fret was. He had showed me how to play drums since I was like 12, so I knew I could keep a beat. He made a ruckus in Bill Clay. Being punk in Louisiana wasn't cool, like at all. A drunken stupor on the porch all the time, in the middle of the main street causing chaos. He knew that there were going to be certain people that would love that. Being the most notorious band in Lafayette, you're going to hear something about them. We were like voted the most liked and the most hated band in the same year. Some people hated it so much that it was interesting to them. What the fuck is going to happen next? He was constantly in the scene with he got banned, he found another place to play at. He got the ball rolling with local music. In Lafayette and Baton Rouge, we accepted big time. Everywhere they went, there was new bands when they came back. In Texas, in Alabama, Mississippi, they loved us. Chris would never stop playing music. Music was his whole entire life. That motherfucker wasn't about working, he was about rock and rolling. If the conflict was rocking, he was shutting it down, man. It was always important for Chris to, to, to keep putting music out there. Loss of Chris was a big one. Local bands play today because of Mr. Six. You know, from 93 on to 2007, this thing was bigger than him. People always know about California, New York, and D.C., and Chicago. When you think of Louisiana, you should know Mystic Six. It just didn't happen. Look, what is it? It's fucking 2009. Uh, you motherfuckers just found out.